Okay, in, in this lecture, uh, we're going to talk about the Rangakutta methods. And uh, the, I, I subtitled this as more generic in that it, it's sort of like we, what we did with the uh, uh, Taylor series methods before, but, but this is done in a way to make it more generic. And so we, we start here again with uh, a Taylor series. And so what we have, we're, we're going to let uh, uh, f be a function of two variables, uh, which is our x prime. Um, our x prime of t is going to be a function uh, of uh, x and t, but we'll label it as f, and we will suppress the variable, the arguments uh, to save ourselves from a lot of writing. When we do uh, double prime on our, our x, uh, this is taking the derivative of x prime with respect to time, and so we will make the substitution f is equal to, to x prime. We will take its partial derivative with respect to t, doing the, uh, um, uh, the chain rule for uh, functions of two variables. And uh, this expands out in this manner. Uh, we then, okay, go to a, a, a more compact notation. Um, dt over t is 1, and um, so on our partial f, partial x is f sub x, and so dx dt is x prime. All right, and so again, we, we put in the f for the x prime. Uh, for x triple prime, we do this process again, and after we take it out that far, we have this expression uh, for x prime of t plus h in terms of uh, uh, x and f and the partial derivatives of f, plus a, a big O of h3 error term. Okay. So we take that and uh, leaving off the error term, uh, we, we, uh, we write that x of uh, t plus h is equal to x evaluated at t, again we're suppressing that, plus one half of h times x plus h over 2 uh, times quantity f plus h times f. Uh, sub t, h times f sub x times f, again, plus our big O of h cubed. Uh, now, by, by the Taylor series and two variables, uh, we can get an approximation for uh, f of t plus h and f of x plus h f being equal to this guy over here and we substitute that in, and so we, we have uh, this expression replacing this expression. All right. Having done that, we can form the, the second order Rungakutta, which is also known as Hune's method, and so we, we break it out in pieces so that it's not quite so nasty looking. Uh, F1 um, uh, is equal to H times F of T X. F2 is equal to H uh, F of T plus H comma X plus a, F of uh, F sub 1 and then roll that all in uh, to get our, our new value of X of T plus H here. And then th this is what we will loop around. And all, we're, all we need to do to get this is just to go back to this expression and resubstitute in uh, the, the values that we have. Okay. So, so we can, uh, excuse me, I cancel. Um, we can take this and just uh, take this and loop it, and it gives us Hune's method. Now, we can uh, go more general on this. Um, 
uh, instead of uh, just uh, in from this instead of just being kind of straight ahead we can put in some some uh, alphas and betas and uh, to kind of give us more freedom on how we choose these uh, values here how, how we weight various things and uh, working through looking at it that way will lead us to the, the modified Euler method um, which is a, a nice method it, it's a classical one it, it'll get you quite a quite a ways uh, then we can go up to what's known as the fourth order Ranga Kata using similar methods again we're uh, we're breaking this down into pieces so so that it can be something that can be put into code uh, with, without having you lose your mind. Okay, uh, that's why we break it down into two Fs, uh, one F two, F three through F four, rather than just putting it all in one big glop. Okay, and. Uh, work an example on this. See here we have an example x prime is equal to t times x minus x squared quantity over t squared with our initial value x of 0 is equal to 2. Uh, we have an analytic solution for this um, which uh, this is one we can actually solve so we can uh, check our uh, method against the, the, the true value. If we take the Hune's method, it's the Hune's method is the orange and uh, the true analytic solution is the blue. Uh, no, notice it's not so bad, okay? It, it, but, but we kind of get off and we kind of drift here. However, the second one is fourth order Runga Kutta. And uh, notice that, that the orange covers up the blue. The blue is still there, but the orange has covered it up. So uh, fourth order Runga Kutta, even though it is, you know, a bit more involved, is the way to go on these things. Uh, quite frankly, unless you're just extremely tight for code space, and I can't imagine that anymore, this would be the way to go.